Oh wait! I'm back alive. I'm alive. I am alive. Jesus Christ. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms. And now you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you. What? I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. All right. This one is good. I didn't even get it. You're welcome. I saved your life, Hank. You would have died. It's the girl! Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Who is she? She's, okay. she's the one from the start of the game. The main menu screen girl. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Meet Kamsky. Wait for the android. Hank join. Man, look at this guy. Hey, Kamsky, 2028 inventor. Room. All right. Yo, can I talk to Hank like personally? Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. <laughs> nice play. Sorry, I just cut you Amanda. off there, Hank. Amanda. I wonder what you're doing here, Amanda. AI professor at University of Colbridge, born 051478, died 022327. So you came back to life, Amanda. Peace. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? <laughs> it doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. <laughs> I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. So your parents? Your dad? <laughs> Sit down, stand back up. Can I talk to you personally, Hank? No? Guess I'll just sit down and wait. Elijah, we'll see you now. All right. Get information from Kemp's. Whoa. There, there's Kamsky. a lot of them. Why is there three of them? Just a moment, please. Why is there... Yeah, there's three of them. Why is your pool red? Like, I'm so confused. Hey, can you stop swimming? We have questions to ask you there, bud. Alright. <laughs> I 
I guess they're triplets. <laughs> oh god, who is this guy? I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. I don't trust this guy. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. Uh, I... Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. Okay. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent. So am I gonna like fall in love with this girl or something? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. That is really creepy though. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With Does a he have a gun? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. So you're gonna see if I'm gonna shoot her. I'm not gonna shoot her. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. I'm not gonna destroy or it. Spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you. What's out of more your important pool. to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Life of the android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. No, I'm gonna leave. Shoot, don't shoot. X, don't shoot. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Oh, perfect. Will you betray your own people perfect. or stand up against your creators? 
What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? I just want peace. That's all I want. Let's get out of here. By Is that not hard to ask? <laughs> I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Damn right I did, and Hank is happy about it. See, finally, it's something that I can actually choose that is friendly. All the, uh, all the questions I get asked is uh, saying mean things or care about my mission. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Damn right I made the right decision. The other one is shooting that other poor person. Alright, and there it is right there.